Good morning, everyone. It is May 1st. Whoa! Don't forget your mamas. It's coming up soon, soon, soon. Mother's Day is coming up. It's like a nine days away, ten days away. Don't forget your mamas. Mama, I won't try not. I try not to forget you. I love you. All right, here we go. Anyways, so we're talking about uh, conscience. We have a conscience. See, we have a free conscience are to believe in him, love one another, abide in him. It's a choice. It's a, it's a, it's a conscience of what we do. And, and, and it, in Mark 12, 28 to 31, says this, The one who scribes claim and have heard them reasoning together, perceiving that he has an answer them well, and asked him, which is the first commandment? Of all, Jesus answered, the first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the God is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the commandment. And the second, like the first, is you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no com other commandment greater than these. What? That was awesome. And you're like, wow, you must have had some coffee this morning. No, I just got home from district council, so <laughs> it's good to be home. So, think about this. God is love. God loves you. Continuing this passage of scripture in Mark, it, it talks about that we should love our neighbor as ourselves. I love that passage of scripture. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Who's your neighbor? Well, it's the house next to me. That's my neighbor. No, man, it's every person that you're, you're coming in contact with. Well, I don't love that guy. That guy's a jerk. Well, you know what? God loved you. <laughs> God loved me. It's amazing when you think about it. If you put it in that perspective, that, that, that God is love, and God loves you, and God and Jesus went to the cross for you, God is love. It says, love your neighbor as yourself. Do you love yourself? I remember as a youth pastor, I did this once that I was preaching on this passage of scripture and I was like, you love yourself? Give yourself a hug. So I says, take this arm, wrap it around here, take this arm, wrap it around, and squeeze. You just gave yourself a hug. And you're like, that's crazy talk. But the fact is, the scripture in Mark says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Oh, change perspective. Because we don't do that. We... We want everyone to love us, but we, we pick and choose who we're going to love, who we think is worthy of our love. You know what? We're, you know, if you think about it, we're not really wor worthy of God's love, but God loved us anyways. Amen? All right. To believe in the name of Christ, listen to this, to believe in the name of Christ is to believe in all that he is. Christ abide in God, God in them, through the Holy Spirit. And here's a couple scriptures. John 14, 10 and 17, 21. Let me read them to you. John 14, 10. It says this. Do you believe that I am the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do speak with my own authority. But the Father who dwells in me does his works. And then... Uh, John 17, 21, and 23, it says this, They shall all may be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be one in us. The world may believe that you sent me. Verse 23, I in them, and you in me, that they may be perfect in one. And the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. See, believers remain in him only by in, they imitate the example of Christ. This is seen with the believers are loyal to the gospel. I want to conclude with this day and I want to encourage you that if you live in Burlington or Coffee County, and you're looking for a church, I would like to personally invite you. I know you're like saying, this is not very personal. You're on a video. Well, this is the best way to communicate to you because you're watching this. I'd like to encourage that if you don't have a church in Burlington or Coffee County and you're looking for one, we'd love to have you come and join us this Sunday on the 2nd of, uh, actually the 
3rd of May. It's going to be a great time. Um, come and join us. We are located on the corner of 9th and Yuba, uh, Burlington, Kansas, and, and would love to have you be our guest. May God bless you. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you so much. I pray that you encourage everybody's heart, Lord. Lord, may we grow in the love that you have for us so we can show the people around us your love. Let us have the assurance in you, Lord, in your name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great Friday and hope to see you Sunday.